is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm mommy hello this is my background music cause i don't wanna get copyrighted so i made more shit to this beat kinda lay it low key but join the team subscribe subscribe so today's video i just thought i would let you guys know what it's like to have a kid and stuff you need to know before you have a kid, okay? Well, I got Layden here with me today. This is my baby. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, dude, how old are you? See, I'm one. Dad. <laughs> okay. I don't know if he's gonna sit here this long while I talk, probably not, because he's already trying to get away. So a lot of people have been asking me for one to do like an in-depth breastfeeding or like, do's and don'ts of breastfeeding and stuff like that but honestly you guys like i know a lot because i did attend a breastfeeding class before i had him me and his dad me personally i really was lucky <laughs> i was really lucky because he latched on super well i did only breastfeed for six months because i dried up so if you guys want a video about that i'll go in depth all i have to say about breastfeeding is it's the best thing to do, honestly. It has a lot of benefits. Um, one, Layden has never been sick until recently. Just for me, breastfeeding and stuff helps a lot with brain development and um, bonding and stuff with your baby. He is such, such a mommy's boy, and I think it's from that. Another thing, I know a lot of people say, like, babies are expensive. And it's like, yeah, you know, like, babies are expensive. But I feel like I didn't realize how expensive they were like kids are expensive you know they're expensive but they're actually really expensive like his little snacks and stuff i buy him just to snack on throughout the day um can go up to like a hundred to two hundred dollars at target so maybe i should stop going to target but some stuff that they like they have at target they don't have at walmart and stuff so yeah that's just that. Like, I easily spend, like, $100 just on Layden's groceries alone. You guys know on movies and stuff how they just make it seem so easy for a kid to just get out the tub or wake up and you just do their hair and put on their clothes? No, it's not easy. Because last night, I was literally wrestling with him. Like, wrestling with him to put on his pajamas. You will literally have to wrestle with your kid. Like, it's hard. I've seen this meme saying, like, um what it looks like like versus how it really feels and it like it was this lady wrestling a um alligator and i was like story of my life and what else i'm just trying to like touch bases on like the little stuff before i get into like the more real stuff and if you guys want part two of this let me know also like the video that lets me know too um layden if you touch that camera don't touch it so I'm like a like I have the weakest stomach ever, but when it comes to him, him and like stuff dealing with him, like it just goes out the door. Like I don't know, you become still when it's your baby, but like other babies, ugh, like him having like poop up his back and he's pooped on me more than once, and it's just like now it's like okay, like that's my baby, I'll clean it up. But like ugh, just thinking about it, it's like oh, but when it happens, it's like you're gonna be Superman, cause it's your baby. So touching back on breastfeeding, cause a lot of people ask me like how I snap back so fast. I feel like for me, it was because of breastfeeding. But honestly, I've always been like built like this my whole life, I've been really skinny. So I feel like it's just kind of a genetic type of thing. I never work out, so um, I don't know. I feel like it was just, like it's just kind of genetics and me breastfeeding because I actually weigh less than I do now than way before I even had him. Um, so yeah, I think it's because of that. Because I wasn't allowed to, um, you know, do like wrap the bands and stuff after you have your baby. They tell you to like wrap your stomach up or like waist trainers and stuff like that. But I wasn't allowed to do that because I had a C-section and you can't like apply pressure to the scarring. So yeah, I feel like I just kind of was genetics <laughs> another thing if you're like the heaviest sleeper now honestly you will become the lightest sleeper when it happens when... Oh, 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 oh. you will become the lightest sleeper when it comes to your kid like i used to be in deep sleeps and still i will still be in like a deep sleep dreaming 
he sleeps so wild that he like will turn over and I'm up. Like he coughs, I'm awake, you're breathing. So I feel like you become the lightest sleeper when it comes to your baby. But I'm telling you, when he's at his dad's house, I be knocked out. Also, I feel like everyone, sh I mean, everyone says this, but I feel like it's honestly true. You will never be prepared to have a baby. Like I know, like you read books and you watch YouTube videos and all this other stuff to take <laughs> classes, but honestly, you have to just go about it your own way. Like you can't let somebody else try to parent you, parent your kid. So I feel like you know your child best and like trying to prepare for a baby is good to know a lot of stuff because like for me, I did the breastfeeding class, I did CPR classes, I read books and all that other stuff, but it's like, some of that stuff I don't even use. <laughs> like the breastfeeding class, all that I really used was like the sound to listen for when they latch on to make sure they're latching right. Like for me, I've never had like um, soreness on my nipples. Like they never cut and stuff like that. And so <laughs> um, I feel like that helped me. <laughs> but you would never be prepared. Like you have to be hands on to know what to do, when to do it, and stuff like that. Oh, another thing, it's like, your body will never be the same, honestly. Like, yeah, you might snap back, but it'll be little thing that's never gonna be the same. Like, for me, um, I think it's my organs. Like, since I had a C-section, I feel like they didn't place them back correctly or something. Um, because I can lay down on my back and I can see my stomach, like, doing this. Like, my organs be moving and stuff. And also, like, um, small things for me. Well, big thing for me. I never had boobs. I got boobs when I was pregnant because, you know, the milk and stuff. But now I don't have the milk and stuff. And I don't have any boobs. And they're actually smaller than before I had him. So, I have, I don't have boobs. Um, I'm gonna have them soon, though. <laughs> um, what else? My belly button is really weird, like. I don't know. My skin is really loose still around my belly button. So you like your body will never be the same. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Some things to know about a newborn is most newborn stuff that you receive or you like hear about, you're not going to use it. Like you're not Ah, why are you biting me? That is a no no. You're being naughty, Layden. You're being naughty. You're being naughty. Mm. Okay, thank you. This is how he tries to get out of everything. He just hugs and kisses me. And it doesn't work all the time, huh? Like most newborn stuff, you will not use. Like having like a bassinet and stuff is good. Like we always said we weren't gonna let Landon sleep with us. And it, we, did, we did good on that for a couple months. But when he was like five, six months, he started sleeping in the bed with us and all that other stuff. And what else? I don't know, just like the newborn, like you see your hair? <laughs> you got a glimpse of them girls, they pop it. Um, most of the newer stuff you're just not going to use. Like, you're not going to use it. <laughs> also, if you're pregnant or you're about to have your baby shower and stuff, a lot of people will bring diapers, but they bring newborn diapers. And some kids, me, myself, I was 10 and a half pounds when I was born. Um, I couldn't fit newborn diapers. He was in newborn diapers for literally like a week. <laughs> he was in newborn diapers for a week and I still have boxes of newborn diapers in my closet. Maybe I should go take them to Goodwill. You want to do that? <laughs> um, so yeah, ask for like ones to threes. Ones to threes because he was, he was in a three until he was probably like eight, nine months. So ask for ones to threes if you're about to have a baby shower. Also, um, I would say don't get a lot of newborn clothes. Um, you should kind of aim for higher. And that's where we messed up at because we would shop in like the age range that he was at the time. Um, we just learned that maybe you should buy clothes that are bigger. Like these clothes are too big for him. You see, I roll them up because his waist is little. But he has room to grow into them. Although he can still fit six to nine month clothes, these is a 24 month outfit. <laughs> also, a big thing that you should know, please have a nighttime stash, okay? Because if you lived how I lived in a two story house, I was not, I was not about to run up and down the stairs to make him a bottle and stuff like that. I did have a bottle maker and it was sometimes, 
I did bring it upstairs and put it on my dresser. But I would say have next to you, like in a box or something. Have next to you probably like some diapers, some wipes. Um, what I used to do is I get my bottles. I'll put well when he did start doing formula because I breast I breastfed until he was six months. So most of the time I would just roll over and put my boob in his mouth. But <laughs> when he did start having formula, what I would do is I would um get the bottles. I will make the bottles um, without the water. I will make like two or three bottles, have some diapers next to me, some wipes, the little suction thing, um, birth, burp cloths, all next to you. Also a good thing, I know a bottle warmer is good to have, but I would say get a kettle off of Amazon. Like, you know how you, uh, an electric kettle for like tea and stuff. And have that upstairs or in your room plugged up next to you because all you have to do is fill it up with some water, have your bottles ready, cut the kettle on for like five seconds because it gets hot really fast. I got mine off Amazon for $25 and it gets hot really fast and all you gotta do is five to 10 seconds then pour some of that in the bottle. So get a kettle, we still use a kettle. The biggest thing to know before having a baby. What baby? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Look, he's about to try to take me. Huh? Where are we going, baby? I'm, rec I'm filming. Let's try to get this done before Layton comes back with his Mickey Mouse because it's loud. Biggest thing to know before having a baby is you will never experience a love like this. Like, unconditional love. Like, I don't know. The first time I've seen him, I fell in love. And just having someone that you know, oh, he got his, his drums. Let me grab his other one. He's laying on his drums. Yeah, so you will never experience a love like your kid. Like, the love between you guys is just different. Like, it's hard to explain. It's like, yeah, you know, you love your, your mom, dad, brother, sisters, aunts, uncles, all that stuff. But when it comes to you and your baby, like, it's different. That will conclude today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, if you want to see a part two of this, comment down below. Let me know. Let me know if you want to see any other things, more mommy stuff. I'll get into that. Also, if you're not following me on any other my other was that English? I don't know. Now follow me on any other social medias. They are down below. Is my eyelash falling out? They're down below. Make sure you go follow me. Follow Layden on Instagram at Baby Layden. And on that note, bye! Bye!